story of the B-52 Strato Fortress began in the late 1940s when the United States Air Force sought a long-range, high-altitude jet-powered strategic bomber to replace the piston-engine B-36 Peacemaker. In 1946, the U.S. Air Force issued a requirement for a new strategic bomber capable of carrying nuclear weapons over long distances. The new bomber needed to have a range of 8,000 miles and a top speed of 450 miles per hour. Boeing's design team led by George S. Shire began working on the project and presented a proposal for the Model 462, which later evolved into the Model 464. In 1948, the United States Air Force officially selected the Model 464. Boeing would receive a contract for two prototypes. The design underwent a major change when a swept wing configuration was incorporated, which resulted in the Model 464-40. This decision was based on the work of a German aerodynamicist, Dr. Adolf Busemann whose research demonstrated that swept wings significantly reduced drag at high speeds. The final design, named XB-52, was a massive aircraft with a wingspan of 185 feet, eight engines in four different pods, and a crew of five. It was designed to carry a maximum payload of 70,000 pounds. On April 15, 1952, the XB-52 prototype took to the skies. After an extensive testing period, the B-52 entered production and the first operational aircraft, the B-52A, was delivered to the United States Air Force in 1954. The B-52B, which came shortly after, was the first version to be built in substantial numbers and it incorporated numerous improvements and refinements. The B-52 underwent several modifications and upgrades over the years, resulting in multiple variants including the B-52C, D, E, F, G, and B-52H. Each model introduced enhancements in range, payload, avionics, and survivability. The current model in service, the B-52H, was introduced in 1961 and featured many improvements including more powerful engines and enhanced electronic systems. The B-52's airframe is primarily made from aluminum, with a few parts made from magnesium and titanium. It has a length of 159 feet and a wingspan of 185 feet. The aircraft's most recognizable feature is its eight turbojet engines arranged in four pods, with two engines per pod. The B-52H is powered by eight Pratt & Whitney TF33-P3103 turbofan engines, each producing 17,000 pounds of thrust. This enables the B-52 to reach a maximum speed of around 650 miles per hour and have a service ceiling of 50,000 feet. The aircraft's wings are designed with a 35 degree sweep angle, which significantly reduces drag at high speeds. Another unique feature of the B-52 is the landing gear system. The main landing gear is designed to pivot, allowing the aircraft to crab into crosswinds during landing, keeping the fuselage aligned with the runway. The B-52's crew consists of five members, the pilot, co-pilot, radar operator, navigator, and electronic warfare officer. The cockpit is equipped with advanced avionics, including a digital flight control system, GPS navigation, and a modern communication system. The B-52's spacious bomb bay can carry a variety of weapons, including conventional bombs, precision-guided munitions, and cruise missiles. In total, the B-52 can carry up to 70,000 pounds of ordnance. To protect itself from enemy threats, the B-52H was originally equipped with a tail gun, which was later replaced by the AN-ALQ-172 electronic countermeasure system for self-defense against radar-guided missiles. Throughout its long service life, the B-52 has participated in a wide range of missions from strategic bombing to reconnaissance and even electronic warfare. 
During the Cold War, the B-52's primary role was a nuclear deterrent. It was capable of delivering nuclear payloads deep into Soviet territory, and its range allowed it to remain airborne for extended periods, ready to strike at a moment's notice. The B-52 also saw extensive use in conventional warfare. It played a crucial role in the Vietnam War, conducting carpet bombing missions as part of Operation Rolling Thunder and Operation Linebacker 2. The bomber was utilized for carpet bombing missions aiming to destroy enemy infrastructure and supply lines. More recently, the B-52 has been used in conflicts such as Operation Desert Storm, Operation Enduring Freedom, and Operation Inherent Resolve providing close air support with precision strike capabilities. In addition to its bombing capabilities, the B-52 has also been employed as a reconnaissance platform, fitted with cameras and sensors to gather valuable intelligence. The aircraft's endurance and range makes it an ideal platform for this role. The B-52 has also served as an electronic warfare platform, the B-52G was equipped with the AGM-86 air-launched cruise missile and the AGM-129 advanced cruise missile, which had a nuclear and conventional variant. The Boeing B-52 Stratofortress has earned its place in history as one of the most iconic and enduring military aircraft of all time. Its longevity is a testament to its robust design and adaptability. Despite being over 70 years old, the B-52 is expected to remain in service until at least the 2050s, thanks to continuous upgrades and modifications. Some of the latest upgrades include the Combat Network Communications Technology System, which improves communication and data sharing capabilities, and the installation of new engines to increase efficiency and performance. The B-52 is set to be complemented and eventually replaced by the next generation bomber, the B-21 Raider. However, until the B-21 Raider becomes fully operational, the B-52 will continue to serve as a vital component of the United States Air Force. The Boeing B-52 Strata Fortress is an incredible aircraft with a rich history and an impressive list of accomplishments. It has been a key player in global conflicts and a symbol of American air power over seven decades. The B-52 will continue to serve and adapt, leaving a lasting legacy for generations to come. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this.